to install in this over the uh, stove microwave uh, it was a simple process for me, for me because I, I've done it so many times and I just want to share how I'm able to do this on my own well I would take something to set under um, the microwave such as this cooler so I would have something to catch it once I get it loose and for support. And if it's over a glass stove or and whatever, it may be over, you want to take some thick towels and put that on top of the stove, make sure it's unplugged or the burners are off or both. Set your towels down, set the cooler on top and proceed to find out what's holding this microwave to the cabinet. In this case, it was only two large bolts inside of the cabinet on top. I um, took my measurements to make sure that the new microwave was going to fit, but sometimes even though you take your measurements, you won't know until you get it up there if it's going to fit exact. So here I um, unplugged it, got my card unwind, and I got the screws out. And I put my card through and I had to uh, slowly lower it down and I was able to uh, remove um, my cooler and get this microwave slid out. Didn't take that long. Uh, just a matter of um, if you do it over and over again it becomes uh, second nature to you. But I was able to get it out. Now the problem here is um, you have to replace the bracket. You can't use the same bracket. Um, if, it, if it's the exact same product, you can, but in this case, this was a whole uh, different bracket. So I removed the old bracket and installed the new bracket, put my wing nuts in, got it tight, and took the old ma microwave, and I wasn't sure if it was going to fit just right or may have to uh, make room for it. I wasn't sure, so I took it out and got it up there in place. I wasn't ready to mount it yet, just set it there to make sure it fits just right in which it did. Took it back down and um, prepared to um, get it there in place. Uh, on the top, the holes did not match and a lot of times they don't match. You have to already know that they may not match. You have to drill new holes. So I got it in place and I went back on top and, and had a look over uh, through the hole to see if the holes from the microwave was matching the holes in the top of the cabinet, which they didn't. So I had to take and mark it, take my drill, and drill the new holes very slowly while the microwave is still in place. They want to drill through the microwave, so I took my time and drill real slowly, and finally got the holes to line up with the holes that were in the top of the microwave. Took it back down, and uh, because I had to take it back down because to get this microwave onto the bracket, it has to be, you have to pick it up and slant the bottom, slide it back on the bracket, then push it backwards. That's how, how it mounts. It actually sets on this bracket from the bottom. So that's why it's important to have your bracket tight and snug against the uh, drywall or the ceramic towel, whatever you have in your kitchen. Once the new bracket was secure, got the microwave back up there, and I was able to um, get my uh, slide my cooler back under there with the towels, get my hose lined up, get one screw in first. Once I got that done, I was able to slide the um, cooler away and get my other hole, my other bolt in there, and the microwave was installed. And you want to make sure once you get this in the place to slide your card up through the hole that's in the cabinet. Otherwise, you're not going to get it in there. So slide your card through, pull it through, and slide the microwave back in. You're pretty much offset the virtually to installing an over-the-counter microwave.